Hi everyone, this is Sean, and uh, today in Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to be working with credits and text. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up a project I already have started. Um, we're not actually going to import a video today, since we're just going to be working with text, and we're just going to all do it on a black screen so it's easier to see. So, uh, to start your text, you're going to go ahead and uh, go up here to Title, New Title, and then we're going to start with default still. So this screen will come up here and uh, type in the name of the title you want. We'll call it credits and click OK. Here's your uh, main text screen here and uh, this is what you're going to be using to create most of uh, your text for your videos. So up here at the top right here is your uh, basic text commands. Stuff you'll find in like a uh, Microsoft Word, just your uh, fonts, font types, uh, you can bold, italicize, underline, center, stuff like that. Um, this is your roll crawl option, which we're going to be using for our uh, credits. And I'll tell you a little bit about this later when we uh, get started on the credits. Um, over here are your actual properties for your titles. You've got your opacity, your X and Y positions on the uh, screen width and height, different rotation options, uh, the font properties itself. Uh, you have fill, which is the color of your text. You can add different strokes and shadows and stuff to your text. Over here are different text options. Um, there's a vertical type tool here. You have different path tools. You can uh, have your text move around the screen. Um, different shape tools, stuff like that. Here's different alignment tools and stuff. Okay, so to start with credits, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set our cursor just by clicking on the screen anywhere. Uh, we're going to change the X, uh, X and Y position to kind of center it. And then uh, change the font size. I'm going to go with about 40. Okay, so now this is where the roll crawl option comes in. Click the roll crawl option and uh, go to roll. And then tilt to start off screen and end off screen. Always for credits, have it start off and end off screen. So, and click OK. And now you should be able to start typing in your credits. Center it first. And uh, if you notice here, um, you can see this checkered screen here in the background. And you notice as, you t as I typed, it got uh, higher here. So if you see it get higher on both the top and bottom, you know that your options are set right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the uh, fill color to as white as I can get it so it's bright and noticeable. And then go ahead and uh, at the top, click the X. And now you'll notice that... Uh, the credits are shown up here in the side in your video panel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag it down. Just drag it down to the bottom here. Kind of expand it a little. And uh, now it should uh, go up the screen like so. If you click play, your credit should go up. And of course, you can uh, resize this on your timeline here and make it go either fast or slower based on how long it'll take. And you can put as much text in here as you need. It'll uh in the text bar just keep going down so and uh there's simple way to create uh your credits for the end of your videos. We're gonna go ahead and title new title again we're gonna start default still. I'm gonna show you some different methods you can make to change your text around, make it look a little different. So we're going to go ahead and change the size. We're going to do 40 again. I'm just going to stick with 40. Okay. Uh, over here are your fonts. And uh, the list is very large. There are many different fonts that you can choose from in Adobe Premiere. A lot of them are in Microsoft Word. Some of them are not. So you just pick a 
type you like or type that will go with your video. So I'm going to click Cinetar. Um, I'm just going to type in something. And I'll adjust it. I'll center it on the screen like so. So now I've got uh, my name. Uh, you can do many things with this text right here. You can, uh, I, as you, I've shown you, you can Y and X position it. Uh, you change the width of your text. It's going to stretch it out like that. Or the height. You know, stretch it out like that. You can even rotate it sideways. Rotate it crooked. If you have to have it fit in your video a certain way. Font size, of course, you can change. The aspect, which is going to actually uh, spread out the letters and make them uh, longer in length. The tracking is actually going to put more space in between each letter. Baseline shift is just going to move your text up or down. It's the same thing as you would be able to do with your Y position. Um, you can slant your text using the slant option. Small caps, you can change the small cap size. You can distort your text to uh, change the way your text looks. Like so. And you can change the color to whatever you want, whatever goes best with, what best with your scene. So, for me, I'll change it to green. And the uh, sheen and texture effects. I'm going to actually put the white line in here. You can kind of see it. I'm going to change it to red. This line through the text is what the sheen does. You can add uh, inner and outer strokes, which is actually going to add a stroke around your, around the outside of your text here. So there are just so many different text options you can uh, do using Adobe. Shadows, of course, and uh, I mean, there's just so many different ways, and you've got to experiment with it yourself and uh, figure out how you like it, how it goes best with your video. And uh, I mean, these text options, once you get done writing the text, they work just like they'll work just like any video. You can go over here to uh, the transitions, and you can add a dissolve to it. You can drag a dissolve over to the sides and so when you play it it'll actually dissolve in and at the end it'll dissolve out so the uh, when it creates text for you it'll actually make it just like a video so you, you can treat it as such and uh, I mean there's just so many options so when you get your video in there and you put uh, text options you just gotta experiment with it and see what looks best what you like the best with your video and uh, Adobe did a really great job with their title effects, and you can do so much stuff with the, just the titles in your video. And so, I mean, it's just a matter of getting in the program, and you can, they even have uh, templates that are pre-made for you if, uh, if you've downloaded any templates, and you can create special design templates. So, I mean, text, there's just so much to do, so much different ways to make your video truly unique. Well, this was the text effects tutorial. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, enjoy.